Hi there, Johnny Vanderport here, Lorain County Community College and microelectronics manufacturing degree, as well as Merit Manufacturing Electronics and Rework Institute for training. I've just completed a run on my Panasonic pick and play system. And I now have to put a couple of parts away into a dry cabinet storage. In fact, not just any old dry cabinet storage. I have to put them away in this dry cabinet storage you see the you see the temperature and the humidity in there one percent humidity mm, why is it that dry on the inside well there are particular devices that are used in the manufacture of electronic hardware that are considered moisture sensitive devices msd these devices cannot be out even in an environment right now, this this laboratory right now, because of the winter that we've got outside, is around 20, 25% humidity, which is pretty dry, actually, right? But we can't even have parts sitting out in that type of humidity. So what type of parts am I talking about here? Well, let's go and find out here. Let's go to supply parts. Whoa. There we go there, so that sends the parts in the front. I'm actually in the rear, so I'm gonna hit table two for the rear part of the system here. Access the BGA parts here, do a check install, and I'm going to pull out tray A2. I've gotta do a little activation and change tray here, let the servos come on. I am talking about ball grid array chips. These are chips that well, for the most part, um, are sensitive to moisture a majority of the time. They do not get stored at all at uh, any form of humidity outside of a dry house unless they absolutely have to be. Um, I just finished a manufacturing run, so I'm ready to go and store them in the dry cabinet. But I want to show you kind of what they look like in terms of like, well, what's so important about these, especially knowing right now that there's a chip shortage. The last thing that we want to do with a chip shortage happening right now is let chips go bad by just letting them sit out. They expire, right? They get put into the solder reflow oven afterwards. And if they've got just a little bit of some moisture, they turn from a soldering job into a popcorn job. And we don't want popcorn on our circuits. We want them to be soldered with good joints without any kind of voiding or anything like that within them, right? So now what we've got here is the tray. Is that the right tray? Let's see here. Aha! There they are. Point this down to it there. That is a JEDEC tray filled with little ball grid array chips. And every single one of those chips right there, every single one of those guys, like a $45 chip. Do I want to waste those? No, absolutely not. So the way that we store these chips is we take this JEDEC tray that we've got here out of the uh, tray storage space. We place it down carefully, right? These are chips that ooh, we don't want to. We don't want to break any of those guys. There. We're gonna take one of these lids, put a lid on them, put an ESD strap on them, put them back in an ESD bag. Some companies actually vacuum seal their bags, put a little silicone on the inside of them. Good. That keeps them dry. In the end, though, they go back to the dry cabinet that we've got so that they can be stored under conditions that will make it to where they will not get past their moisture sensitivity level. So some chips, in fact, actually only have a moisture sensitivity level of hours, eight hours in some of the cases, right? And we don't want to lose our chips to something like that. So yeah, moisture sensitive devices, make sure that they are stored correctly. More to come from Lorraine County Community College's microelectronics manufacturing degree, as well as Merit Manufacturing Electronics and Rework Institute for training. Let me know what you think in the comments below. We'll see you around on the next one, folks. See you later. Bye-bye.